Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. And the Coco Vanilla Storyteller is in the house. This is the first time that I have ever done a pre-order. I have never pre-ordered anything before. But, of course, the lovely Sandra from Scrapbook Your Joy put it up in her shop um, for pre-order. And the color... Coco Vanilla, the colors are just gorgeous. And this color palette, although it is definitely signature Coco Vanilla, it's a little bit deeper. It seems a little bit deeper. I just love the blues, the navies, the sort of a little bit of an ingo, indigo. <clears throat> as always, the corals and peaches as opposed to the true pink. So... I let myself be tempted and I pre-ordered it. Now this got to me in absolute record time. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of an add-on, which I'll show you in another haul to this order. So uh, Sandra messaged me on Tuesday and said the rest will be up in the shop uh, tomorrow morning uh, when, on Wednesday. So I popped in Wednesday, sort of midday, completed what I wanted. I added some photo play goodies, uh, just one little collection pack, really. Um, added that, checked out. It was on its way Wednesday afternoon, and it was here Friday morning. I think that's a record. Oh, my goodness. Sandra's service is just so, so, so amazing. And as always, I'll have Scrapbook Your Joy uh, link down below. Because if you're in Canada or the States, um, really, uh, I think is is it it's $100, um, gets you free shipping. In Ontario and Quebec, it's actually only $75. And as I said, I mean, it's out the door pretty much, you know, within an hour or so of you ordering. And the longest it's ever taken, I think, to get to me is about, like, four days. And that's probably because there was a holiday in there. Anyway, let's have a look at this gorgeousness. And for this one, I also know that the lovely Tracy Reed from Tracy Reed Designs, you know I love her printable collections, she collaborated in the design of this collection. So you can see the full color palette here and sort of an idea of all of the pattern papers. And let's look at the 12 by 12 to begin with. And then you can see here the full color palette. Is that not just beautiful? Summer, spring, but really, um, you know, you could use it for any anything. I love, love, love the florals. There could be some fussy cutting here. But I think uh, this one I would use as a partial page, probably one of my either half and half or one third, two thirds. And oh, is this not a beautiful background? So thankfully we have two of these because I definitely would want to use this as a background. The signature, again, sort of rainbow. Uh, this one is beautiful watercolory, larger uh, larger strips than some of the other collections, but I do, do love it. And you see, this goes into a deeper color scheme. This would be perfect for autumn uh, scrapbooking, actually. I just love, love, love that. And then this fun rainbow type um, page as well. Now, this one I would also use. Uh, so both of these I would sort of use in chunks for sure. Let's put this one on this side. Fun hearts, overlapping hearts, and all of the beautiful, beautiful colors. And just this fun uh, salmony pink, pale salmony pink, I guess, with coral uh, dots on it. Let's put it over on that side. This, you know I love. I've seen, you know, this a navy background with all of these beautiful little hearts in rainbow colors. This definitely has my heart with a love. This is a perfect background, beautiful golden yellow background. Again, thank goodness we have two the butterflies. This I could see myself 
doing some fussy cutting. Ooh, doing some fussy cutting for sure. Or again, using it. You know what, what? I think this one I would enjoy. This one would be fun for maybe like some garden photos or floral photos as a diagonal with the other side. Because look at this beautiful, beautiful minty mossy green with sort of a little white circular pattern on it. Yeah, I think I would love this as a diagonal with the background here. Uh, one of the cut aparts, thank you again. This for sure, I will cut apart one of them. And I love their cut apart. You see, you have some three by fours, full three by four, full three by four. But then you have here sort of like a, a a, a smaller one this may be is it one yeah I think it's like uh, one so a three by three same kind of thing here then some word strips some little tags labels and tickets these fun little cameras so very 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 versatile and a gorgeous plaid on the back Ooh, these two go beautifully together as well don't they that would be lovely as a diagonal as well. Oh, I do love that. Then this is a fun background paper as well with sort of a little bit, let's say, mixed media done for you. There's a little bit sort of a very faint grid frame around here and these plus signs. But oh, okay, you know, you know, I am, I just love Love, love, love wood grain. So this one actually might get sacrificed completely in favor of two of these two beautiful backgrounds with that. Tiny little floral, which is beautiful as well. I do, do love that tiny little floral. Uh, this could be used as a background, but um, I don't know if I would look at the, oh, the back to this is absolutely gorgeous. And again, I think this is one that would be lovely, um, either as a diagonal or, um, an L shape, you know, one of my L shape with this, the lovely little floral and maybe a bit of the rainbow. Yeah, I think that would be fun. I, this is a beautiful, beautiful background. I do, do love that. And then we go back to um, the same paper. So there we go, my friend. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those beautiful, beautiful colors, beautiful patterns, all very, very versatile and usable. Now, I still have a lot of my No Limits collection to use. Let's see, let's put this maybe this way. So I won't be dipping into this. Um, I'm going to try either for Build-A-Page uh, later this month. We're going to be doing Build-A-Page, by the way. Often we, we start it on the third Sunday, which would be tomorrow. Uh, but we are going to wait actually a week. You know, there's some holidays in there. Everybody's a little bit busy during the summer. And the 17th was <laughs> kind of early for a third uh, Sunday. So that since there are five uh, Sundays in July, we are going to go and start next Sunday, which will be, is it going to be the 24th? Yes, I believe the 24th. So I might be using my No Limits for the Build-A page. Um, or I will be using it as part of my How to Kill a Kit with Style for August, but I need to get through No Limits before I play too, too much with this. I might do one layout just so I can say that I've played with it, my friends. The sticker sheet that comes with the collection pack. So there we go. I love all of the work. I love their sticker sheets. Again, same kind of thing, same as with the cut-apart sheet. Very, very versatile. Some icons, uh, some tags, arrows, and all of these lovely little words and phrases. The A5 uh, paper sack, which is a little bit narrower than 6, and a little bit longer, I believe. And there are a few different 
papers in here. Now you see, this is the lovely mossy minty green in the 12 by 12 and it's a navy in this one. And these are double sided and there are 15 designs, 30 sheets, 15 designs. Same lovely rainbow. This is a different paper. I don't think we have that at all in the 12 by 12. I don't think so. That's in this beautiful, of course, mossy green, the lovely rainbow, wood grain, the hearts, the cut apart in a smaller sheet, the lovely little floral. Then the beautiful, we have it in the sort of navy. It's in the golden yellow in the uh, A5. Butterfly. Oh, look at this beautiful, instead of the bluish, Indigo, we have it in the salmony pink. Is that not lovely? The little hearts here on a white background instead of the navy background, which is gorgeous. This little spotty paper instead of being the pink. It's so basically we sort of interchanged um, you see this instead of being the pink go then we have the lovely plaid and are we back to and then the floral and then we are back to the same so you see I enjoy that you have some of the same papers and then you have some of the same patterns but in a different color or arranged a little differently so that really helps get a lot more mileage out of the paper Okay, my friends, now let's move all of this over and look at the embellishments. As always, the, book, the wood buttons I have to get to. You know I love, love, love pairing these gorgeous, gorgeous wood buttons with uh, some flair. Dottie about flair, wood buttons, uh, acrylic pieces, um, or the other thing that I love is if you dotty about flair, these wood buttons and some flat back brads make really a fun and interesting embellishment cluster uh, with a so same circular dimensional theme but different materials. So I always get two of these. Now the other thing, I can't wait to dig into my Nicole Jones 911 printables and get some fun bits to go along with that and some fun um, Bramble Fox as well, I can see straight away I have this gorgeous getaway title piece that's in this beautiful coral that's going to be fantastic with this. Let's put these aside for a minute. Foam title stickers in black, always very, very usable. Um, love this together, beautiful. Uh, you, you make me smile, you are cute. Uh, you could do cute smile. So, you know, our story, lovely. So these are very, very useful and versatile. The chipboard, 6x12 chipboard. Again, there's a couple of words. These are larger. These seem to be, but there are some smaller ones as well. So there are some large pieces. This pops out. Uh, beautiful, beautiful florals. And you see, to me in the Storyteller, the colors here are just a little bit deeper. I'm not going to say brighter because it's still, in a way, a pastel tone, but just maybe a little bit more saturated. It's just, just, just beautiful little butterfly hearts. So some smaller pieces to tuck in and some larger statement pieces. Now, we have two ephemera packs to go along with this collection. One which is a floral, and then one which is icons and words and all sorts. So, 55 pieces in the floral one. I'm going to hold this up to you so that you can have a look. And what I'll do is I always do, if you would like to see... Each of them, I will open the pack in just a moment. But if you have already seen them, then you can leave me after this little bit. So there we go. And then this is 59 pieces and the die cut ephemera. 
I hope I'm doing that in the right way. Yeah, I think so. There we go. That you can see that. So there you go, my friends. I absolutely love, love, love this collection. And that certainly gives me the motivation to get into and dig into my No Limits collection so that I can get to this one. So tell me, have you got your hands on Storyteller, my friends? And is this... Uh, a collection that you would love to use or just for the fun of it is something I haven't asked in a long time what are your favorite collections this year or ever or your favorite manufacturer talk to me about the collections that you always watch for and love to use and if um, you do not want to see the ephemera close up thank you so much for joining me I'll see you back here soon and if you want to see them close up, let's open them together, my friends. I won't spend an inordinate amount of time because I know some of you have probably seen them, but we have these gorgeous florals. I do love that. There we go. So, there, look, we have some smaller pieces, some medium pieces. These are fun to tuck and layer together yeah see look how fun that will be just to do like a lovely lovely little cluster right there already look at that kind of thing you know some of it popped up More florals well it is the floor so they are all lovely florals smaller these tend to be medium size there isn't anything too too big thankfully i sometimes have trouble with some of the very very large ephemera pieces like some of the vicky bootens i i cut them in half i admit then beautiful leaves that go along with it again here we have some bigger and smaller then we have individual leaves that we can tuck in smaller florals so there you go, my friends, a jam-packed, look at this, I'm going to have fun with these, smaller, and again, in all of the gorgeous, gorgeous color, these blues are absolutely stunning, are they not? They are just, just gorgeous, the gorgeous coral, again, the little individual leaves, and the blues and pinks. So look at that. Some gorgeous, gorgeous florals, my friends. Love, love, love that. And then we have the die cut ephemera that has all sorts, and there are 59 pieces here. So again, uh, fun banner, frame, camera. Oh, I love that camera. That. Oh, and there's another one here. Aren't these gorgeous? These and these cameras are on um, the cut apart sheet in small form all across. Then some fun little titles, a tag, seriously the best, circular elements, semicircles. The story behind the photo. Oh, I like that. These lovely little banners butterflies and hearts so again same kind of thing here then you see here we have like a ticket and a frame another banner happy little moments very usable true story semicircle another little ticket an oval frame this time oh yeah i love this on the chipboard and i think it was on the sticker sheet as well I, I do love these little uh, little tabs. I love tucking those in. Another, what is it, telling our stories. So lots of usable, still a few florals in here. So if you really, if, if you can only get the one ephemera pack, I guess I would suggest the die cut ephemera because of course it is versatile. There's a, li there's a little bit of everything in it. And then with the paper pack, you can do some extra fussy cutting of florals. These fun little banners or bunting. Another floral. Butterflies. 
a little banner, some more floral. So you see, yes, yeah, so if you can really only go to the one, I would definitely go with the uh, die cut, you know, the die cut pack because you do have, you have a little bit of everything in it. And quite frankly, then, as I said, you could do some fussy cutting up some florals, or there are plenty of little florals in here, too. Oh, and look, another camera. Happy thoughts, notes and things. Another little banner, these tiny little dots, little labels, another little banner, and I'm a storyteller. So this is gorgeous very very usable and again i like the size nothing here is overwhelmingly big nothing here is too too big to use i mean probably the biggest is this lovely frame and then of course you can put a fun little photo behind it like a little chopin photo would fit perfectly in there with one of his little faces staring at me don't you think there you go my friends well thank you so so much for joining me and I will see you back here very, very soon. But we will be playing with No Limits to try and get further through that one before playing with this. Again, Scrapbook Your Joy. Uh, if you're here in Canada or in the States, uh, really, uh, you know, I can't recommend her enough. She is lovely as a person to begin with. She, you know, you, I can just messenger and say, you know, are you getting this in? Are you getting that in? And then she'll say, oh, well, I'm doing an order at this time. I can definitely add it or, you know, that kind of thing. And, and she will let you know as soon as everything has arrived. And as I said, this was my first time doing a pre-order. And the experience was amazing. I, I just didn't... Have, it's like a present arriving. Um, you know, because I bought it, you know, a couple of months ago. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, my friends. So I will see you back here shortly. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.